Pisces, welcome to Monarch Intuition, and today I'm going to be doing your July 2022 mid-monthly check-in reading for you. So if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is I like to pull one major arcana to see the energy and then clarify with a different deck. So what do we need to know for the sign of Pisces? What's going on for you? One more shuffle. Okay. We have the star. So this could be you going for your dreams right here. It's important to understand that when you reach for the stars, sometimes you can get burned, okay? Because you might go on a special adventure within your life. Your entire life might be, I wanna be a doctor, or I wanna be this, I wanna be that. And then you go through all the trials and tribulations to get this you know, achievement within your life and you realize that it's not worth it in the end, okay? Now, in general, the star does tend to be a very happy card. So this could be you trying to work with what you are given. So let's clarify this energy. What do we need to know about the star? This is Aquarian energy, so this does represent, you know, on the grand astrological scale. It also represents what you're supposed to do within your life. So look at your north node and look at your 10th house, house if you haven't ever done like a birth chart reading. If you know those placements, I feel like you should really try to follow them during this month. You might have some sort of, you know, major epiphany within your life because just because you don't get your dream immediately doesn't mean that it can't happen later in life. For example, look at Susan Boyle, right? She was like 54 years old, she was an older lady, you know, people kind of made fun of her when she went on stage, but she just blew everyone out of the water, right? So what you have to understand that this is a series of events and it's a progressive series of events. You're not gonna get famous overnight, you're not gonna become a doctor overnight, it's gonna take, you know, years upon years, knowledge, um, schooling, studying, whatever. Even those people who, you know, sing very young and become very famous because of their singing voices, usually it's because they have professional singing or professional teachers. So we have the Page of Pentacles coming out with the Queen of Cups. Let me get you one more card. We have the Five of Pentacles. So when I see this Page of Pentacles energy, what its representation of is you receiving something from the universe. You're receiving a talent or a skill, okay? Now with this talent or this skill, what can you do with it? Here's the thing about the Page of Cups. This represents Siren energy. Now, she can be someone who's very giving to you. She can be a teacher. She can be a mentor. Or she can be someone who could lead you into, you know, catastrophe. However, when she's in the upright position, what you have to understand is that she's wanting to help you use this ability for yourself, okay? So she sees raw material in your hands, and she wants to know how she can make this better for you. But... What you have to understand is that you can't squander this Ace of Pentacles. You might have to find a few teachers before you find the right one that clicks with you, okay? Because there are several singing teachers out there. There are several artist teachers out there or art teachers or whatever, right? Um, this could be you going to a trade school. However, finding the person who actually clicks with you and doesn't leave you in this Five of Pentacles energy, feeling impoverished and lackluster, that's going to be very difficult because you can find some really awful teachers out there. You can deal with some very awful people. And you obviously don't want to use this pentacle that you've been given by the universe, which represents your raw talent, your skill, everything that you have, um, and, you know, become financially bankrupt or become, you know, emotionally bankrupt because of it. Also, not allowing yourself to be led astray by people who would try to take your talent to use it for their own personal gain, right? Like if you got some money and then, you know, someone came into your life and just used you for that amount of money and then for that time period and then left you. So let's clarify this page of pentacles. What do we need to know about this? What I'm kind of worried about is this Queen of Cups actually being sinister right here and you not seeing that. So I might clarify this Queen of Cups with the Vampire Tarot because it does have darker energy. And if it's a good card, like if the Queen of Cups is good, it'll let me know. So Page of Pentacles, what do we need to know about this? We have the Death card and we have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, this is what I was very, very worried about for you, Pisces. The ending of your gift, someone trying to take it. So I kind of feel in a way that this Queen of Cups right here is coming off very alluring, but because of this energy, you know, I'm not sure. Someone trying to steal your gifts, but it can also be a representation that someone is stopped trying to steal your gifts. 
Let me pull one card for this. I'll actually know more about this scenario over here. Let me get one good shuffle in. We have the Fool and the Page of Grails. One more card. The Daughter of Knives. Okay, here's the thing. I think this person is actually very positive for you. I kind of feel like, in a way, this person is stopping this thief-like energy from going off. Okay? Because the Queen of Cups has the Page of Swords representing that she is paying attention to you. Kind of like a spy. But not in, like, you know, a creepy stalker way. But is paying attention to what's going on around them. This fool represents that this is a new person within your life you've never met before. And this Page of Grails means that they're wanting to offer you this cup. They're wanting to actually move off of their throne to come and approach you. So here's the thing about the Queen of Cups. She doesn't usually get off of her throne. However, it's very important to understand that when you do find a Queen of Cups who wants to move towards you, um, pay attention to them. Because the Queen of Cups is representation of Cancerian energy, motherly energy, divine mother, all right? Divine mother of the Zodiac. So if this person wants to, you know try to help you in some sort of way, I feel like you should be available to them. I kind of feel like it's more mentor energy or someone who just wants to come into your life and help you out with the situation. So you are finding someone who is critical to reach the next step within the star. And you're going to meet someone with a lot of motherly energy behind them, or it could be fatherly energy, because, um, you know, there are cancer males, there are cancer females. However, this person is going to be very, very nurturing to you or nurturing to this project. Let me pull some more cards for this. The Temperance and the Ten of Wands. So here's the thing. I kind of feel like this Guardian Angel of Temperance is coming out at the right time, helping you meet this person, trying to stop this thief energy from taking your gift or trying to make you squander it. So death to the thief, if that makes sense. What's important to understand is um, this could be death to intellectual property. So say you have a gift right here and, you know, a writing gift or whatever. Someone could be wanting to take things from you. However, the angel of temperance is divinely aligning you with someone who can actually help you with that. Who could be, you know, a famous author, a famous publisher, whatever. And trying to move this situation around critically for you to make sure that no one is, you know, a theft to this intellectual property. And I feel like that's what's very important right here is you don't want to have theft to this. So you might have some money. Someone could be trying to take it from you, like, you know, like the siren. But then this person steps in and stops them, puts you on the right path. Someone could be trying to take intellectual property. Temperance stops them but they do it through a very large series of events right here, very hard for them. So you really need to thank your guardian angel after you're done with this. They're alchemizing a very burdensome period for this. So I think what you need to understand is that I don't think that this gift can be taken away from you during this time period because of this fool energy, of this new cycle starting, because someone is paying attention, someone is watching, someone is very keen as to what is going on. So let's look at this five of pentacles, the moon and the magician. When I see the moon, it's Cancerian energy as well. And the magician coming out represent magic in the moonlight. So kind of like dark magic. One more card for this, the Ace of Swords. Someone is a master of dark arts right here. And when I talk about dark arts, I'm not talking about like you know, summoning the devil or whatever, things of that nature. You might have a gift in writing something about the dark arts right here, or you might be in this work that you could have could be involved in that. And someone is very intelligent and is trying to make it better because they see the genius in this right here. Someone could be skilled within something and know exactly what you're talking about and saying, hey, phrase it like this. No, do it like that. No, it, it sounds too weird. Try to, you know, make it sound more subtle. 
You might feel like this person is trying to impoverish you, but what you need to understand is that this person knows what they are doing. I don't think this is really a spell being cast on you. I kind of feel like in a way this is, hold on, let me, before I say the next thing, let me make sure I'm on the right path. Let me use the vampire tarot real fast. Someone is very skilled at the occult, okay? Someone knows exactly what they're talking about. You might be feeling a little bit impoverished right here, but due to this, you know, alignment with whatever this is, it really helps you. You have the Ten of Skulls, yeah, the Seven of Knives. So I'm seeing right here is that this person, someone is trying to take something from you. That's, that's the key. You have to understand that. Whatever you've built for yourself, whatever you're doing for yourself in a very sneaky way, and it could even just be in through fucking taxes or something. But someone knows something. Someone knows the ins and outs of a situation and is trying to undo it. Someone wants to take your ten of skulls and turn it into the five of skulls. So this pentacle that you have, this one thing, and divide it up into ten equal parts and then take half of it. What you have to understand is that this person is coming into your life to stop this from happening, so allow this to play out, all right? This person knows what you are trying to do. This person is heavily skilled within the dark arts and the occult. This person is trying to stop this from happening to you because someone knows. Yeah, the Knight of Swords coming out. Someone knows someone is corrupt. Someone knows someone is a thief. And someone will come at the right moment to stop a situation from happening. But this person is very skilled in whatever they do. I'm not gonna say dark arts. I'm not gonna say that they're like, you know, a, a witch or something like that, but they know people who are seedy. They can see that, all right? They're a master of working in this dark field. They have a lot of knowledge about working in this dark field. The Two of Pentacles, Balance, and the Fool. It's divinely meant for this to happen, to be balanced out this way, a new, brand new situation, okay? You have to understand that. The universe is working for you right here. I almost feel like if it does come down to having to split something in half, that's not gonna happen. The universe is not going to allow this to happen to you. If there is balance, the universe, or if there is like this trying to split something, someone tries to get it, there, there will be an ending really quickly, really rapidly through death. This is your work, this is your thing. Someone knows that it's your thing. Someone wants to help with this. They're also skilled with this, but they see the evil that other people are doing. Yeah, Queen of Cups coming out again. Wait, yeah. The three, they see solid work, right? And they want to help with the solid work. They're not here to hinder you. They're not here to harm you. The Empress, they're here to help build this Empress up. So trusting this Queen of Cups, this Cancerian, this energy right here is integral to the star. I feel like someone might be trying to swindle or get one over on you right now. However, it's not going to work because of this right here. This, this queen knows something about the occult. This queen is very skilled at this dark thing. And it doesn't have to be, you know, when we talk about the occult, it can represent, um, what's it called? Hollywood? It can represent music, it can represent writing, it can represent the arts that have very mysterious things behind them. Because you have to understand that all of these things have like hidden societies, hidden secrets behind them. A lot of them tend to be very weird people. Ultra wealthy people are very like fucked up in the head, if that makes sense. Yeah, three of wands, three of swords with the hermit. 
someone will illuminate this Three of Swords before it comes to you. So this Three of Swords is traveling to you and in the right moment, the Hermit illuminates this. Watch out, okay? Be prepared to, re to see a heartbreak on the horizon, but in the right moment, death comes in. You're waiting for heartbreak. That's the thing too. I kind of feel like you're also waiting for this to happen. You're just like, oh, well, whatever. Maybe you're in a point within your life where everything just kind of falls to dust and it turns bad anyway, but here's the thing. It's not supposed to play out this way. This is the time where it doesn't do that. The high, yeah, the high priest is coming out. The balance. Let me pull from this deck. fortune tables will turn the lord of skulls and the hanged man you have to understand that right here with this wheel of fortune this lord of skulls and this hanged man energy what's going on is that you might hit a downward cycle but that's okay because the wheel of fortune goes back up if you're hitting a moment of uh you know actual poverty that's going to change for you with this lord of skulls hanged man see things from a higher perspective do not sell yourself short do not sell this talent short do not sell anything right here short of value all right? Someone could be trying to undercut you because they want to buy something from you. Don't allow that to happen. It's kind of like, you know, someone could be trying to buy a house because this housing market's really bad and they're wanting the house is, house is worth $120,000 and someone's trying to get you, you know, 75000 And you're thinking, man, that sounds really good. Take a moment, step back, wait. Someone will come in and offer you possibly the same amount, if not more. Someone knows more about a situation than you do. You're not completely enlightened to something, and I don't think that you're supposed to be. Just know that the universe does have it out to help you. The universe is going to illuminate heartbreak to you because this is supposed to be part of your path. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles coming out. Let me pull some more cards for this. Let me use the Tarot of the Vampires for this. So Death and the Seven of Swords. So Death to Theft. That's not going to happen. Yeah, Five of Scepters. People are fighting over something and someone's trying to sneakily get away with something that's not going to work. Yeah, Eight of Knives. Someone gets stuck. Someone gets caught up in a situation. Someone's trying to sneak away with the chaos and conflict and they get caught. Someone's trying to take your gift right here. It does not work out for them. Five of Cups, yeah, they're left impoverished. You have the Ace of, Ace of Knives coming out with the Temperance and the Ten of Wands with the Temperance. Double clarification of Temperance with this information. You're going to be okay. Someone knows more. Someone is alchemizing. The Angel of Temperance is alchemizing with you. The Death card coming out for this again. So someone is trying to take something from the page. On the way out, they see chaos and confusion. They're like, okay, this person doesn't know what's up or I can do this. There's a lot of stuff going on. You know, this person seems really stressed out because you have to understand that the Seven of Swords is also a mental card. They're trying to sneak, they get caught. Their cups fall over, the ending, the death card. The lovers the devil, the queen of cups. Once again, I'm telling you that your divine alignment right here is connected to this darker entity. This queen of cups knows something about a, a situation and they're trying to help you. Okay. So don't worry about this because this is not part of your problem. They get caught eventually. Your focus is on this queen of cups right here. Oh, brilliance. This Queen of Cups is brilliance. I didn't even mean to pull that card. 
She's a diamond, all right? You have to understand that. This person is actually a diamond, a true gem. You're meeting someone who is a true gem within your life. You're connected to this person, a higher connection. This person might not be, you know, a black magician or, you know, someone who's a practitioner of dark magic. They just know the ins and outs of something. You could be getting like a manager right here. Someone who just knows how to navigate you through really treacherous people. For example, if you want to be, for, uh, I'll, I'll bring up a taboo subject. Say you want to be a porn star, right? There are a lot of people who try to take advantage of you and then there are people who won't, right? That goes in any type of industry right here. There are restaurants who will try to take advantage of you and then there are restaurants that won't. There are, there's always going to be, you know, evil that tries to take advantage of a situation and then there are people who don't, who have the knowledge and say, see raw natural talent and they're like, no, that's, and that's the thing right here. They understand the evil in the situations and they're trying to guide you away from that because they understand how it works. So they might not be a practitioner, but they have the Ace of Swords right here saying that they know it. And double clarification of this Ace of Swords with this Temperance energy. They're delivering you this message at the right time. They're going to help you at the right time. Understand that someone is coming for your Ten of Pentacles right here. Someone is trying to get away with them. How does this end up being stopped though? Through the Ten of Knives, this person just, I don't know, its I don't even think it's meant to be happening. The Hermit's illuminating it with judgment. Judgment gets called immediately. Something just happens. Something just stops. Like, that's it. No. The Hierophant. You know, it's kind of like, you know, a sniper, for example. Uh, because a hierophant represents, you know, military, law, government, whatever. Someone tries to do something bad, you know, tries to hurt someone, like a medic or whatever, that's illegal. And then a sniper sitting on the roof and someone's trying to, you know, hurt the medic while they're working on someone, they just kill them. They call those people, um, there's a specific term for someone who does that, like who watches people and makes sure nothing bad happens to them, like on the back or on the theater. It's called, um, a guardian angel. Yeah, but you have to understand that those people are trained to kill people. So they have the dark occult knowledge of killing someone. That's what I'm seeing for you right here. But they're considered guardian angels because if you're doing something and you cannot focus on the battle around you and someone's trying to kill you, their goal is to assassinate them before they can. That's what you have to understand. They have the knowledge. They've probably done it before. It doesn't hurt their feelings to do it. But their goal is to protect you in this situation because of what you are doing. And I hate to be that blunt, but that's what it is. It's judgment, boom, it's declared by the Hierophant. It's supposed to be ordered this way, so understand that. So let's look at your Awakened Oracle cards. Unseen, yeah, you don't see them. That's the thing about them. You, like, you know that they're there. Sometimes you do, and sometimes you don't. They're just there. They're watching. Blaze a trail. Keep moving forward. Like, here's the thing. No one can stop this from happening because there is this guardian angel. Oh my god, the temperance is a guardian angel. Oh my gosh. The temperance is the guardian angel. It alchemizes from the spiritual realm to the physical realm to stop something bad from happening to you at the split second moment. Continue to keep doing what you're doing. It's not your problem. Pay attention to this person who is helping you out. Or don't... I'm not saying to pay attention, but here's the thing. Like, you two are connected in some way. This person has more knowledge of something darker than you do. You're supposed to be working on something right here. If someone tries to do something, the guardian angel steps in. This person is considered classified kind of like, you know, the government as a guardian angel, right? So... Let's look at your spellcasting oracle cards. Beauty. Finding. 
focus on your beauty right here. Finding, I want to clarify this. I don't know what you're finding. We'll pull one oracle card. Be love. Finding love. You're directly and divinely supposed to be connected to this situation. It seems scary. Like that was kind of like an epiphany for me because I, I usually, and that's the thing is like if you've been on this channel for a long time, you know I call this card the guardian angel. Like you've heard me call it that a million times. So I don't know what just skipped my mind right there. And it's funny because, you know, death is also an angel. Oh my God, I'm putting like more correlations to things right here. Seeing it from a higher perspective, yeah, with the hanged man energy. The guardian angel of death is there to protect you from something. This person is very skilled in something to protect whatever this is. And if they're not like a sniper or something like that, you know what I'm talking about. But like if they're not that, they're someone who's very skilled at ending situations very quickly, precisely to help you continue to move forward within your life. So let me get you a couple of which is familiar oracle cards. This could be you. I might actually be talking to someone out there who is. So I feel like you might be helping someone out very soon if this is you, like, you know, on the angel side. You have more knowledge about the situation than other people, but if not, we have Ren awareness and hair transformation. Be very aware of something right here. The situation is transforming very, transforming very, very rapidly. Revenge, yeah, someone is trying to get revenge on you for something and it stops prematurely. You just have to be aware that someone is out to seek revenge right here. Someone's trying to get their just desserts, but the situation transforms in such a negative, catastrophic way for the person trying to get revenge. Direction. You're finding your direction. Regardless of if you even know this happens or not, that's what's important for you to understand. You're on the right direction. Someone wants to knock you off on the right direction, the guardian angel, the hierophant, any of those things are saying absolutely not. Because here's the thing about the Hierophant. The Hierophant works in religious orders, military, government, law, you know, I just said that, but this person can command something to happen, right? Or someone at the top, because remember, the Hierophant is called the Pope card. The church itself was an intelligence organization. You have to understand that. The Illuminati, an intelligence organization. Most of these things that people are talking about, these hidden societies, these secret societies, they are organizations that share intelligence with one another, okay? We have OWL, why seeing and wise action. Someone is watching this situation. As I said, with that Page of Swords energy, someone's watching this happen. Someone is aware of this happening. Black Cat, fortune meets opportunity. Someone is seeing something happen, but someone else is also watching. It's very weird. Eyes are very, very important right here. Eyes. Pay attention to the eyes. It's funny because when we look at the, the temperance card, eyes, right? Third eye open. This can also be a representation of eyes with this right here. Where's that other card? Illumination with the hermit energy. So illuminating the eyes, seeing in the dark. Bats can see in the dark with echolocation. The fool has his eyes closed. So your eyes are closed to something, but someone is watching. So I kind of feel like someone is looking for an opportunity to strike you and someone says no because they're also watching. So there are things watching. People are watching this play out, right? And someone is going to step out of line. Because they step out of line, someone else has to stop them. And it's instantaneous and I don't even think you know it. Like you might pay attention to it for a split second and then you continue to keep going. Like it shocks you, but you're like, oh, well, fuck it. I still have things to do. Let me get you a talisman card. Algus, protection, courage, help from others, and good decision-making. You know, you're protected right here. The guardian angel, right? Let me get you one more rune card. That's a talisman card. Let me get you an actual rune card. Ink. 
Ingwa's potency. Achievement, difficulties overcome, creativity, completion, fertility, spiritual meaning, unity, and equanimity. You're achieving something. Difficulties are about to be overcome. Understand that, like, if someone's trying to throw a wrench in the plan, it's not going to work. It just can't. It's not designed to work right now. Because here's the thing. Revenge can happen as part of the angels putting you back a couple of steps, okay? For example, when someone does something bad and it, you know, kind of puts you back like three, four steps within your life, someone put a black magic curse on you, caused you anxiety, you couldn't eat or sleep, you know, put you back within your spiritual path, okay, that's actually designed to happen. You have to understand that people don't control death. When people try to put death spells on people, that doesn't work. You, what the closest thing that they can do to you is put you at, um, they can put you in a near death situation, right? And scare you. And through that fear of being scared, um, you know, it, it can damper your life. It makes you make bad decisions, especially, you know, if you narrowly escaped something tragic, right? You can have like a stress disorder from that. However, if someone tries to do this when you're protected on your spiritual path, when you're going on to the next step, when the angels have aligned things just right for you to keep going within your life, they're not going to allow that to happen because during the time that they're working and alchemizing and, you know, sewing things together and shape-shifting and whatever, they will allow things to move you backwards so that way you're not too far ahead, right? Things have to be planned out. Every single step has to be planned out just right for you. Now, you do have free will to fall off, of, <clears throat> to fall, oh my gosh, hold on, to fall off the path that you're supposed to do. And then when you fall off the path, the angel won't help you for a while until you ask for forgiveness. And they'll make you struggle to see if that you're worthy to go back on the path or not. Then if you are, they continue to work with you. You have to understand that people don't control these entities as much as they like to think. All right. Remember, Satan couldn't touch Job in the Bible until Satan asked Job or asked God to remove the hand of protection on Job. And Job said, okay, but you can't kill him. Once again, only God controls death. So Satan could do anything he wanted to. He could kill his family. He could kill, you know, the oxen. He could uh, smite Job with boils and whatnot, but he could not kill him. And then when he failed to do that, God blessed Job with everything. So what you have to understand, and it was twice that Satan had to go to God and ask him to remove the hand of protection because the first time it didn't work, the second time it didn't work either. So people are not in command as much as they like to think of like over negative entities and even over death itself. Now, the devils can come up to your angel and say, well, you know what? You're, he's on this spiritual path right here, but you know, if he if you took him off of the spiritual path, if you moved him back a couple of steps, he'd curse you and he'd fall off of it, and you'd see that he's not worthy of it. And the angel's like, okay, well, I'm busy doing any something anyways, and you don't fall off, and so you're worthy. You're able to go quickly onto the next step right here. And if someone tries to stop you during this going quickly onto the next step, immediately they're done. Because that's the thing about black magic. It easily comes back on someone. You have to understand that if someone tries to curse you at a critical moment and the angel's like, no, they've already passed the test, it you know, backfires on them really, really badly. So you have to understand that. So you're protected right here. I see very good things for you, Pisces. So I hope you enjoyed this reading and I'll talk to you later.